Hi, hello. In this video, we are going to learn about Project Hopper. Project Hopper is nothing but a list of improvement projects identified using the project identification tools such as voice of customer, voice of business, cost of poor quality, and brainstorming. So let us see how the Project Hopper will look like. So we have done the voice of customer analysis. That means the problems are identified based on the customer's voice. Problems are identified based on the customer's voice, both internal customer and external customer. External customers are nothing but the end users. Internal customers are nothing but the employees or the process owners, various process owners who are you know, uh, employed in your organization. They are called internal customers. If there is a pain understood in their feedback and they are also improvement opportunities. So the voice of the customers are converted into CTQs. And similarly, the voice of the business, nothing but the managers, leaders and CXO level uh, you know, executives and your uh, financial data. right? And if you could see no, a downward uh, going trend or you know, uh, a pain related feedback, then again, those can be considered as improvement opportunities. And so you convert the voice of the business into CTBs, critical, critical to business characteristics. And over and above, all the accounted failures, we call them as cost of poor quality, both internal failure and external failure, whatever you have accounted. And you can also identify problems based on the cost of poor quality data. So ultimately, you convert all of them into measurable metrics and then try to improve those metrics. Now you have a list of projects, what we are going to call it as project hopper. So, so you can use either voice of customer, voice of business or cost of poor quality information to create the project hopper for your organization. If this is uh, something not going to work for you, then you can call all the department heads and managers you know, to uh, come for a brainstorming session where you can uh, request them to present their problems. Then I'm sure within you know, an half a day meeting, you will be able to have a list of problems from each of the department. And that means you know, the improvement opportunities could be listed you know, within a short uh, time, you get Know, a list of projects and that's the power of uh, brainstorming. Brainstorming can be structured by adding certain rules, you know, like for example, the duration of the presentation and then the format of the presentation and who should present and what, art, what order they should present. If you uh, bring all those uh, rules, then the brainstorming is called a structured brainstorming. And brainstorming can also be organized in an unstructured manner. I mean, without uh, rules, without guidelines, and anybody can talk about anything in whatever order. And then, but what is important is, you know, there should be someone who can carefully note down all those, uh, you know, uh, points put forth in the meeting. And those points are about the problems experienced by the external and internal customers, as well as the business leaders. And so all of them can again lead to a list of projects, what we call it as project hopper, right? And now a project hopper can, uh, a typical project hopper can look like this. See here, the project uh, title is given here. The department which has uh, presented the project is written here. And the issue category, as far as the Six Sigma or Lean Six Sigma drive is concerned, we run four types of project. One is Six Sigma project. Another one is Lean project. Another one is Lean Six Sigma project. And one more thing is DFSS project. What is a Six Sigma project? Defect reduction projects are Six Sigma projects. What is a lean project? Waste elimination projects are lean projects. If you focus on both the defect reduction as well as uh, waste reduction, then the projects are called lean Six Sigma projects, something like this. Suppose if you focus on uh, new product development or capacity expansion kind of thing, then that will be DFSS project. So the issue category is also listed. And then the saving potential per annum is also listed. And now you see, and uh, several crores of uh, saving is possible if you actually run these 11 projects. And these 11 projects, 
which project is you know uh, should be given the priority see here there is one project which has you know a huge saving of 1176 lakhs right and maybe you can uh, have some criteria which we will be learning you know uh, later uh, while discussing about the prioritization matrix so you can prioritize and then the project that appears in the top of your prioritized list can be you know uh, prepared for approval right so project hopper while creating the project hopper there are two chances at the operational level we make use of voice of customer voice of business cost of poor quality data to identify project similarly at the apex level right projects can be identified through a business level dashboard and the financial reports referring to the financial reports and that is called a top down initi initiative if you identify project from the operational level that will be called bottom up you no know, initiative whether it is top down or bottom up you know ultimately you know the project has to be uh, listed in the project offer and then we prioritize and then we execute it in the prioritized list usually each business unit or a division or a department will create improvement issues in the form of a project hopper for execution by the concerned project team hope now you have understood how to create a list of projects right using these uh, important tools and whoever uh, is actually involved in the project identification maybe a committee or a quality council that uh, team members in the quality council or the committee should have a clear understanding on the core business processes that the organization is having and then they should also have a, you know should be able to uh, check the alignment of the projects project goals with the strategic goals of the organization so if these two things are not you know properly uh, followed probably you know the efforts sometimes you know may not be helpful to the organization so it's very important the project goal align with the strategy goal of the organization and it is also very important that the team that is selecting the project has a good idea about the you uh, know core business processes and the quality council comprising of champions master black belts and black belts they follow this kind of a structured method for identifying the lean six sigma projects they will have criteria and guidelines readily you know uh, created uh, in the company and according to that only they identify and then select the project at the operation level projects are identified from voice of customer voice of business and cost of poor quality data and at the top level the projects are identified using you know referring to the financial data and then you know some uh, like uh, uh, projects uh, which are of interest to the top management we call it you know top down uh, approach so a ctq tree is a tool that translate voice of customer into measurable ctq and of course the cost of poor quality can either be internal or external and on the other side we also have cost of good quality which are nothing but cost of prevention and cost of appraisal right hope you have understood all these uh, tools and techniques related to identification of projects so thank you for watching and see you in the next video